Chicago is a complex uh, region. It's about an 8 million person region and uh, there are many who are being left behind. The recovery has been very uneven. Uh, we're experiencing uh, uh, violent crime, uh, persistent poverty, uh, joblessness in, in certain communities, and population loss. Data has such an important role to play of helping understand not just what patterns are today of work and travel, but what they could be and what the economic value is of filling in some of those gaps. open data you can have a neighborhood like in Inglewood which is known more for being the epicenter of the foreclosure crisis, known more for being the center of, of, of gang violence, known more for being a neighborhood with failing schools, and have a community like in Inglewood and have a resident association come up with a policy solution to solve the vacant lot crisis in Inglewood and because of open data, because of a website built with that open data, that policy solution can scale to the entire city. That's the power of open data. It can be so easy when you hear talks about big data and tech to get blown away by the amount of data and the computing technology and all of that's really true. But the dark secret is that that's all just building blocks towards what's really needed, which is humans coming together. We're starting to see that open data by itself isn't enough, um, that it's a question of access, which is a question of inclusion. Who's involved in these conversations? Who's at the table? We actually have an opportunity to transform the digital skills landscape of the city as we seek together to work together to better understand our communities and the city as a whole. As, as humans, as residents, as government officials, as corporate uh, executives, we need to understand there are things that we don't know we don't know. They sit in our blind spot. So we have to ask the folks who live that, that data, they live that life, the data that shows crime and education and health and all these other things are on the negative side. We need to listen to them about uh, the solutions that can come about because they, they know the relevance, they know the issue in the neighborhood, they know how it would look if it got better. They almost know what it would take to get better. We need to listen to them and find a path to success based on what they do and then take a chance to try to help them get there.